Hello, everyone. Hi. Thanks for joining us on the Grace Kid Podcast. Uh, today, we have another episode coming at you. Uh, but first, we need to welcome our special guest. So, special guest, will you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Jacob. I am 10 years old, and I'm in fourth grade. And me and Jacob have something similar that maybe you know, maybe you don't know. What is it, Jacob? We are redheads. Yeah, and we... Uh, do you think redheads are underrated? A lot, yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. Like, we're not just special because we have red hair. We we're are... Amazing. Amazing, yeah. <laughs> we are a super breed of human. <laughs> yeah. Uh, more people should be re- have red hair. That's what yeah. I think. Yeah. All right, well, Jacob... Uh, we have a question of the day to get started, and so uh, the question is, would you rather go into the future or go into the past? So, uh, listeners, whoever you're listening to this with, we will be right back with our answer. Yep. Anything else but you, and God, I'll take this moment to give you everything, because Jesus, nothing compares to living life. And we are back. And so, uh, Jacob, would you rather go into the future or go into the past? Well, um, I think I'd go into the future because, one, you could go one day into the future. That would count. Mm-hmm. And, that would, yeah. And that's not much of a difference. You just miss one day, which uh-huh. probably it's not much. And, um, you know, like... But there's probably less stuff that might happen that's bad than there was in the past. Mm. Yeah, maybe maybe we solve some issues in the future. Yeah. Yeah, I think... That's good. I... Man... Maybe I have more money in the future. <laughs> well, you will be older. You'll be yeah. able to have a job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I think I... I would like the safe future, but I would, I would rather... I know I'm I'm gonna cheat the question. I would rather just be able to time travel and just bounce around a lot. Like I had, I wish I had like a special watch that I could go like back in time and see things and, and like go into the stuff. future. Yeah. So I totally cheated our question. I, I think, mean, if you did stop stuff, that would pretty much impact like everything in the future. Yeah. Maybe not like stop stuff, yeah. but like maybe see see things. You know. Yeah. Like, like see how it happened. Yeah. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. So, well. Let's get into our episode for today. Yeah. Uh, listeners, last week we learned about uh, a new character that we haven't covered just yet, but we learned about a guy named David. And Jacob, have you ever heard of David? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pretty we, famous. And, and we talked about him right before we hit record. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so David, last week we learned about his anointing and that uh, God uh, was going to have a new king and a man after God's heart. And so... Mm-hmm. This man that got anointed was a kid at the time named David. And so today we're going to continue the story about David. And so, Jacob, what are we learning about today? So basically we're learning about how David defeated Goliath. That's right. That's right. So uh, right after David gets anointed in the Bible, it's like the next chapter. But uh, the nation of Israel is in a battle, like a big battle. Okay, So if you want to picture like... Two hills on each side with a valley in between. That's kind of what's going on. The nation of Israel is on one side. And then this other nation called the Philistines are on the other side. Mm-hmm. And uh, and the Israelites, or the nation of Israel, they are uh, terrified. Yeah. <laughs> they are super scared. And, but they're out there, and they're, and there's a there's a guy who keeps coming out for the Philistines. He's and, like... So tell us, tell us about this guy. So this guy, his name is Goliath. He's like... Super huge, basically a giant. Now, he's he would still be a giant now, but he was, like, super tall back then because mm-hmm. they'd probably never seen anything like that. <laughs> it probably would be the first crazy. time. <laughs> yeah. And so this Goliath comes out every day, and he kind of, like, he, like, he's not a nice giant. Like, he's, he's a mean one. He's, he's like, yelling at the, the nation of Israel saying how he's, like, send someone for me to fight, and then we'll capture you. <laughs> Stuff like that. that. It's not a good friend. <laughs> yeah, he, he'd not be fun to have as a friend. Yeah. 
So, uh, so David though one day, uh, he's uh, we were talking about this. He was a shepherd. Yeah. And his uh, family pretty much like gives him food to take to his older brothers mm -hmm. that were like warriors, like mm -hmm. people who were like on this hill getting ready to fight. Yeah. And David gets out there. And he he gives like his brothers the food, and he's like, "Who's that over there?" And they're like, "Oh, that's that's a giant. He's uh, trying to destroy us." Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but it's a giant. <laughs> uh, and uh, and David though he wasn't all that afraid. Like he was just like, "Well, let's I, conquer him." Like just, let's just, just no, no, do do an Empire Strikes Back. Grab a rope and put it over his legs. When he walks, he'll fall. Yeah, just like, like let that. Him trip. Boom. Yeah, so he's like, no, this is this isn't a big. He he actually he didn't fear because he had God in his heart. Yeah, and uh, he had God with him. He was a man after God's heart. He spent a lot of time with God as mm -hmm. a shepherd, and he walked with God. And so he's not afraid at all. He's so like, he's like, you know what? I'm gonna be the one to find him. So he basically goes back home, gets a, gets his slingshot and. Gets a couple of smooth rocks, mm -hmm. goes up to Goliath, and Goliath, and he's like, "Hey, Goliath, I'm gonna fight you." And then Goliath is like, "But you're too small to fight me." And then um, David pulls out his slingshot and goes, and then the rock goes all the way to Goliath's head, hits it, and he basically dies. Yeah, donezo. Yeah. And then what happens next is then like. The, all the nation of Israel runs over and starts to fight the Philistines. So, attack! Yeah. Attack! So, uh, so, yeah, David and Goliath, we've heard this story. But, uh, Jacob, what does this story mean? Like, what do we learn from the story? We learn to always put our faith in Jesus and God and to never be afraid of someone who's bigger than you because you have the same amount of strength as they do. Yeah. And that, really, that we shouldn't be afraid, too. Yeah. No, David. He didn't. He didn't fear anything because he had God, and he believed that God was was for him and with him, and yeah. would help him through it. And uh, I was telling Jacob this just a little bit ago, right before we recorded. But it also remi it, it reminds me of something else that David is a lot like Jesus, and that yeah. like we can be like the nation of Israel. These these battle people that are sitting on the hill, but we face like things every day. We face yes. things every day. And then Jesus comes and he defeats it for us. Yeah. You know, like sometimes we think that maybe we are David and we can conquer it. But Jesus is the one who, who can do all things for us. Yeah. And so, uh, and so it makes me think that we need to put our faith and trust in Jesus so that uh, he can fight for us. And that we can just trust and believe in him and walk with him as he does great things in our life. And so, Jacob, I think we need a challenge. Do you okay. have any challenges for our listeners? Let's think. Um, here's a good challenge. Mm -hmm. um, so since it's Kindness Week, maybe um, we could, if there's like a Goliath somewhere, like anywhere, um, being mean to someone, maybe you could stand up to them and say, and tell them to stop. Yeah. And spread kindness since it's Kindness Week. But not just because it's that, but just do it anyways. Yeah. It's almost like super special because it is Kindness Week. Yeah. Yeah. And and also a challenge too is think uh, think about your own life. What things are you facing that are hard? That can yeah. be really hard. That you need to ask Jesus to come and fight for you. You know, like we can pray mm -hmm. and ask God to, to help us through things. Mm -hmm. And so that's another challenge. Yeah. Maybe maybe whoever you're listening to this with, ask them, hey, what's something hard that you're going through that we can pray to God for to have Jesus uh, start working in and fighting for us? Yeah. All right. Well, that wraps up the end of our podcast. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. I'm Jacob, and I'm a ginger. Bye. <laughs> see ya. With anything else but you and God, I'll take this moment to give you everything. Because Jesus, nothing compares to living life.
If you would like more resources regarding the One Story Plan, go to visitgracechurch.com backslash one story. And if you'd like more resources for your kids, you can go to visitgracechurch.com backslash kids. We also have a YouTube channel, and you can find it by searching Visit Grace Kids on YouTube. If you like this podcast, we would love for you to like, subscribe, share, and leave us a comment. We'll see you soon.